Malou, mais I'm more than happy. I uh, say something because he was such a great man. Uh, you know, he was to some of us. You know, I can relate to him. It's you know the, the bigger picture of the film community, um, but I can also relate to what we did together uh, through our organization, the Zimbabwe International Film and Festival Trust, and also. Personally, uh, we had a very, very good and very productive uh, relationship. Um, we all know how much he contributed uh, to the development of the film industry. Uh, not just uh, in Bulawayo, but also in Harare. Um, you know, his achievements in setting up uh, Sky's Metro FM, uh, and then now with uh, Kiyona, you know, all our efforts that he has been making to grow the industry, not necessarily for his own personal benefit, but for the development of, you know, uh, the Bulawayo community and beyond. Um, you know, many people have heard or read, uh, read where people are saying, well, you know, the Matubelelens uh, sector, you know, has, has passed on. But he was beyond that. He was more than just a Matubelelens. Uh, creative. He was a Zimbabwean creative. I know from having worked with him, we went all around the country working on the production of, uh, you know, what we call the Hoche Hoche, you know. And uh, Font was comfortable whether it was in Chimani Mani or in Pinga or in Masungo, in Harare. That was the kind of person we had, he was. And the last thing he would have wanted to be known is just a representative of my business. That's what he does and that's what You know, I, I know it points beyond just uh, the filmmaking. Um, you know, he was a fantastic athlete, uh, as most of you probably know from his karate days. But more than that, he also loved other sports like football. You know, one of the things that I will go out away realizing that I owe Malumi was, he always say to me, when are you coming to the party? I, um, I have a, a, a youth soccer academy called Aces Youth Soccer Academy that is produced the likes of Insona, Billiard, and so on. And we always say, I want you to come and do something in the family. And I promise him I would. Now, you know, it's a burden that I'm going to have to work with and hopefully one day be able to do something about it. So, you know, that's how complete a person he was. It was about development of the young person, the development of the young mind. So, you know, I think that uh, his legacy is going to live on. One thing that I personally learned from him was about conflict. He'd always say, where is the conflict in everything that he did? I don't know if others ever got to know that, but he always believed that we have to create conflict. Not conflict in a negative sense, you know, but even in film, in theater, you know, the crux of, you know, film and you know, theatre is conflict and the resolution of that conflict. But he then extended it to even in business. He would say, even in business, where is the conflict? Sometimes if it's not there, you create the conflict because it is in the resolution of that conflict that you move forward. So, with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to say, go well, my dear friend. Go well, Malumi. Thank you. If you want to